Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, we're going to talk about how to determine distance using a compass and a few calculations. So be right back with me. All right, talk to you soon. So welcome back. Okay, this video we're going to um, show you uh, how to determine the distance to a house or someone or something at a di um, uh, using a compass and a calculation. Okay, it's not very difficult. So uh, first we're going to show you the technique and uh, show you the calculations and then uh, on two points. And then from there we're going to, um, we'll see how well you do with it. I'll give this information to you and hopefully you're able to use it yourself. This is without having used a laser range finder, which gives you a very precise distance um, a very precise point, this kind of stuff, but you know, I'm not gonna spend 500 bucks on something I can do with just my little compass right here and a calculation. So anyway, let's, uh, let's set it up for it. So if you guys are seeing right in front of me here, I've got a number of houses here, okay? This one here is the one I want to get the, the measurements to, the distance from my, my, my location to this, this house this beige house right here. Now there's a door right there. The average height of a door is about two meters roughly. So we gotta remember that calculation. Remember two meters. The next thing we do, and this won't be very easy, we're gonna measure the size of that door using the millimeters on the compass. And this is area right here from my location. So if we look through it, we measure that, okay. I'm getting, well, let me see if I can't get this a little better here. Not that easy for me with one hand. Let's see though. Okay, I'm getting three and a half ticks to four ticks on here. So this is, uh, each way these ticks is a millimeter. So I'm getting four millimeters. So what we want to do is we want to make take, it, take that calculation to four, and two, okay, actually it's four, it's 400 and 200, and we're going to divide the 400 into the 200, then we're gonna multiply it times the, um, uh, we're gonna multiply it times, well, you know, what we get with that, we're gonna multiply that times uh, six, because the distance from, of my arm here, of my arm from my eyes here is 60 centimeters okay now you can actually put a string on here that's 60 centimeters that goes around your neck you measure it out and that way it's precise but i measured it out before so i know this is that when i have this out in front of me like this right here this is 60 centimeters and we're going to take that calculation that's going to give us the distance so hang in there be right back with you this is what the calculation should look like right here if you can see this it's going to be the size of the door is 200 centimeters okay about two meters and or it could be the size of a human about 180 okay and it's 400 why is it 400 because that's what i came up to four it's four millimeters so that's 400 that's gonna that's gonna um, um that equals when you divide 400 into 200 it equals 0.5 this multiplied times six six is 60 centimeters distance from my eye and then the total is 3.00 or 300 so that is roughly 300 meters. This is roughly 300 meters away this building right here, okay? So that's pretty simple. You can do this with humans with, because the average height for a human is about 180 centimeters. And this is all the metric, by the way. It's much easier to use, it's much simpler. And it goes much, I mean, people are always crying about the metric system, especially in North America, because we don't really learn it as well as we should. We don't really use it the way we should until like we're in like professional roles, like in the military, something like that. And so there you go. Uh, this is what happens. So instead of using the uh, imperial system, we use the metric system here in this calculation and we get a much more precise. Now, I actually <laughs> went back and measured this on my map and it is roughly 300 meters okay a little bit more on my map has got me around three around 320 okay um but if you notice the house that's right over here 
a little bit further down. Okay, this house here, I did the exact same calculations using the door. There's a big front door on, on it right there. You know, it's around the two, 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 uh, two meters tall. And I also got 300 meters. So these are roughly the same distance away right here. Although the house over here is about, I came up with about 20 meters distance. Now, my calculations with my uh, shaky hand with my, uh, and that's something else. You want to be stable and uh, you're going to run into... Like I said, it's probably about 4.5, you know, something like that. So that would have um, that would have been 450 divided into two, okay? And then we would have got a, a, probably a different number. But anyway, that's the calculation, okay? I'll uh, put it down below in the comment section so you guys can have a look at it and see it. And um, if you're using um, a European compass, and, and in fact, if you're using most compass that's millimeters, then you can uh, use this to determine distance. Now, I don't know about the maps in the United States. I know the military maps are all in meters. So that's what we used. But this right here is a really good system to uh, be able to use to determine uh, distance with just a small uh, a compass and a few calculations. And there you go from your position. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it wasn't a big, a big video, but uh, um, I think that... Um, it gets the point across, and um, like I said, I'll put the calculation down below. Listen, I appreciate all of you guys coming to my channel, watching my videos. I ask you to please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share it with your friends and enemies. Like, give me a big thumbs up, and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about this, and try it out. Talk to you again very soon. I hope you all have a pleasant weekend that's coming up. Goodbye.